Fun mode activated. It's a brand new virtual reality game. That means that you don't just look at the game on a screen, you go inside the game. Inside? Mm -hmm. Daddy, we have to try this. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> All right, Caillou. This game is set in the what? distant future. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> How is it, Caillou? It's amazing! Hey, that's the robot from the prize show! <laughs> hey, robot! Over here! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, traveler! To complete the level, you must reach the finish line in the fastest time. Good luck. But where is the... Oh! Get ready, Caillou. You're going so fast! What was that? Wow! You got the rocket boots! Rocket boots! It was amazing, Caillou. It certainly was. And as the new champion, here is your prize. <laughs> Mission successful. Snail, Andy. But aren't snails kind of...
scary? Snails aren't scary. My favorites. Oh, but they're so slimy and... Ooh. What is that? Okay, class. This is a fire alarm, so we all have to leave the classroom. Please find your buddies. Follow Miss Shelley outside and line up in the playground. Come on, Andy. You're my buddy, remember? <gasps> Andy? <laughs> Nice and steady now. Oh, Mrs. Martin, I think it's too loud for Andy. He needs his headphones. Good idea, Caillou. They're just over there by his backpack. Thank you, Caillou. Now come along. We need to go to the playground. Great job, everyone. This was just a practice, but you were all very calm and did what you were told. So well done. And now, it's recess time. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Woo! <laughs> uh, Andy? It's recess now. Do you want to play catch? I have your special ball. Everything okay, Caillou? Me and Andy were having a lot of fun drawing, but he doesn't want to play with me anymore. Hmm. Well, you know, Andy really doesn't like loud noises. So that fire alarm was extra scary for him. Yeah, I get scared too sometimes when it's dark. It isn't nice. Exactly. Just give him some time and he'll be back to his usual self, I'm sure. Ah! <gasps> get it away! Clementine, are you okay? It's a snail! Ew! Snails are slimy and scary. Don't worry, Clementine. It's perfectly harmless. We'll move it out of the way for you now. Snail! Cool! That's right! Snails are Andy's favorite! Can you help us get the snail away from Clementine? Snails don't go on slides. Oh. Time to go home, snail. Wow, that was amazing, Andy. Yeah, you saved me. Yes, well done, Andy. That was quick thinking. See, Caillou? The alarm may have been scary and painful for Andy because of his autism, but the snail wasn't. Everyone has things they find hard to cope with, but that's okay, because we all help each other when we struggle. Yeah! Got you! Catch! <laughs> Here it comes! Settle down, kids. Today, we're going to learn about Vikings. Does anybody know who the Vikings were? <gasps> mm -hmm. um, they wore pointy hats and fur and sailed in boats, I think. 
Well, yes, they did, Caillou. Very good. <laughs> and today, Caillou, we're going to make our very own Viking helmets that you can take home with you. <laughs> the Vikings lived hundreds of years ago. They lived in what we now call Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. They traded and traveled all over the world, sailing in longboats they built with their bare hands. Now, they also wore armor and helmets like this one. Today, class, I'd like you to make your own Viking helmet. The materials are on the table. You can decorate them however you like, but remember, they need to make you look strong and tough. Great job, Caillou. That's a really scary one. That's recess, kids. <laughs> uh, I'm bored. What should we play? Let's play Vikings! Oh. <laughs> in peace. We need shelter against the storm. You're up. We need to go and see Grandma. Mommy, look, look, what is it? Hmm. Looks 
looks like a rash, Caillou. A rash? Oh no! How did I get it? I don't know, Caillou. But we'll have to figure it out before we go and see Grandma. But why? Well, if we don't know what gave you that rash, then we can't be sure Grandma won't get it too. We need to be safe. Okay. I know. Let's think about what you did yesterday and try to work out where the rash came from. Do you remember what you did? Hmm. Well, I went to the park with Daddy. <gasps> Daddy, can I have some lemonade? Mm. We stopped to buy lemonade. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Whoops. It was delicious. Oh. 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 But I tripped and spilled it. Hmm. Maybe it was the lemonade? I don't think that's it, Caillou. You've had lemonade lots of times before. What else did you do after? <laughs> nice to meet you. I met a friendly dog who kept licking my face. <laughs> Mommy, maybe it was the dog? Hmm. But there's no rash on your face. Keep thinking. Where did you go next? I just played with Teddy. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Ready for takeoff, Captain Teddy? Teddy landed in a big bush. But it was okay, because I rescued him. <laughs> and we flew home together with him in my t-shirt. <laughs> oh, Caillou! It sounds like maybe Teddy landed in some poison ivy, and then it got on your tummy. Worry. That's just the name of the plant. You'll be fine. A nice soothing bath will make you feel a lot better. <laughs> All right, Caillou. Time to get out. And that's Teddy. Good as new. So can we go and see Grandma now? She won't get sick. I'm afraid not, Caillou. But why? Well, you can't go in your bathrobe, silly. Huh? <laughs> Tag, you're it, Rosie. <laughs> Oh, dear. Hmm. 
it has a twig stuck in its wing. We'll need to get that out. There, that should do it, but we'll need to take care of it until it can fly again. Let's make up a bed so it can rest while its wing heals. There, Birdie. Now you'll be comfy while your wing gets better. Wing get better! Something for breakfast. You? What you looking for? Birdie's hungry, Daddy. I need to bring him some food. Huh? Oh. Oh. Huh? You've got to be more careful, Caillou, or you could really hurt yourself. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Caillou, birds do eat worms, but not gummy worms. But we don't have any real worms, so Birdie can eat some of these seeds. Here you go, Birdie. Daddy says you might like sunflower seeds. like Birdie is all better. You've done a really good job looking after him, Caillou. Birdie better. Careful, Rosie. Birdie is small, so we have to be gentle. That's right, Caillou. We need to take extra care with small animals like Birdie, or we might accidentally hurt them. But I think it's time for Birdie to go back to his nest now. <laughs> hey, that's my head, not your nest. I'll miss you, Birdie, lots. Good luck, Birdie! And before we take him home, I have to pack up all of Gerald's food and his favorite toys in my backpack. Oh, and his ball! <laughs> Tell Gerald I say hello. <laughs> Good morning, Gerald. Are you excited to come home with me today? I've made you a special area in my room by my bed. It's really nice and warm, and we can play all weekend in. Gerald? <laughs> Are you still sleeping? It's time for school. Gerald? It's time to come out. <gasps> oh no! Gerald's gone! Gerald? Gerald! Gerald, come out! 
Good morning, class. Let's all take our places for the... Oh, Caillou! <laughs> what are you doing over there? Gerald's missing! Why don't you take your seat, Caillou, and I'll explain. All right, class. As you've realized already, Gerald isn't here anymore. Where is he? Gerald was a very happy hamster, but he was also very old. So I'm afraid last night, while he was sleeping, he died. Died? Yes, but he had a very long life and loved you all very much. But it was my turn to bring him home. Don't worry, Caillou. You can just take him when he comes back. Well, Leo, I'm sorry, but Gerald won't be coming back. When someone dies, they don't come back. So I'm afraid we won't see Gerald again. <laughs> I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. He had a good and happy life. I know, but I'm really going to miss him. Not hungry, Caillou? Not even for some... Ice cream! Ice cream! No thanks. Can I be excused, please? Ah, of course. Mind if I join you? I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. I know he was your friend. But do you know what else I know? That you were his friend. You made him very happy. And neither of you will ever forget that. But I won't get to see him or play with him or... I know. But you'll always have the memories you shared. And good memories like those, well, they last forever. <laughs> I think Gilbert's saying he'll play with you if you want. <laughs> Thanks, Gilbert. Today, class, you can all draw anything you want. But it has to be something that makes you really happy. I decided to draw Gerald because he was my friend. He's gone now, and we won't see him again, which is really sad. So I drew my favorite memory of him. My daddy says memories are forever. So now I'll always be able to look at this picture and remember Gerald and feel happy. Goodbye, Gerald. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. Broccoli is good for you. I don't want broccoli. If you don't eat your vegetables, Caillou, you won't get any ice cream. Ice cream? Woohoo! Stop it, Rosie. I don't want broccoli. That's it, Caillou. Go to your room. No dessert. You're grounded. Fine. Broccoli is so gross, Teddy. I hate it. I never want to eat it ever again. Hmm. 
Oh, hello. Hello. Can Caillou come out and play with us? I'm sorry, Leo. Caillou isn't allowed out today. He's been oh. very naughty, so he's grounded. Oh, Caillou mad. Okay, we'll see him another day, I guess. Hmm. Leo! Clementine! Wait there! I'll come down! No, Caillou! You'll get in trouble! I'm speaking to you. What do you think you're doing? I... I... just wanted to see my friends. You're grounded, Caillou. You were very naughty earlier. I know, but... No buts, Caillou. And you definitely shouldn't try to sneak out. What if you had gotten hurt? Or lost? We wouldn't have been there to help you. I... I... Uh... I'm sorry. I'm not allowed out today because I was bad earlier. Okay, Caillou. We'll see you another day. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so mad. And I'm sorry for scaring you, Rosie. Caillou, mad. It's okay, Caillou. Thank you for apologizing. I'll go back to my room now. Hmm. Could, could I have my ice cream first? Hmm. Sure. <gasps> After you finish your broccoli. Let's get climbing. Yeah! 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 This thing around your tummies and legs is called a harness. It's what attaches you to the rope and the tree to stop you from falling. Psst, Billy, I'm gonna climb that big tree over there. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm gonna fly from that really huge one. I'll fly faster than you. Will not. Caillou, 
Clementine, please pay attention. So, what do you want to do first? Uh, why don't we start at that one? That one's for babies, Leo. I know. Just for practice. Then we can be super quick on the bigger ones. <laughs> Watch me, Billy. I'll do it even faster than Clementine. Be careful, Caillou! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's really high. Uh, hmm. No, it's not. <laughs> Don't worry, Leo. I'm right here. That's it. Just take it one step at a time. Oh. Hmm. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> that was great, Leo. Now let's go do the bigger ones. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Should go first. Yeah. No. I'll do it. Leo, are you sure? I was scared at the start, but you guys kept cheering me on, and I'm not scared anymore. As long as you're here, I can do anything. trying to rob a train. A train robbery? Not on our watch. <laughs> we'll finish this later, Deputy Teddy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Why steal from a train? 
when I can steal an entire train. This is too easy. <laughs> What is Leo trying to steal from the train? The train is full of... Uh, uh. The train is full of gold! Don't worry, we'll stop him! Yeah! There! I'll climb onto the back of the train! for this train. We need to get off the train. How? The same way I got here. <laughs> Looks like if I can't have the gold, no one can. <laughs> Next stop, jail. Huh? Get out soon, Sheriff. You'll see. Well, if you do, me and Deputy Clementine will be ready to stop you. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> and Deputy Teddy, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you guys played Dig and Build 2 yet? Not yet. There's a new one? What is it? Yeah, in this one, you dig up dinosaur bones. Then you have to put the bones together to make a dinosaur skeleton. It's awesome. My mommy's taking me to get it this afternoon with my allowance. I can't wait. Mine too. Maybe we can go together. Caillou? Uh, I don't think I can. I don't have any money. Well, you better hurry, Caillou, or the store will run out. Mommy? Daddy? I need some money to buy a game. <laughs> well, Caillou, you know money doesn't grow on trees. You'll have to earn your extra money. What do you mean? Well, we'll give you an allowance to spend on whatever you like. 
in exchange for you helping around the house doing some chores. That's called earning. Okay. What do I have to do? Let me think. Here goes. Okay, Caillou, let's see how much you've earned this week. <gasps> Is it enough? Is it? Yes, Caillou, well done. We're very proud of all the work you did. Yes! Dig and build! Let's go, let's go! Quick, Mommy! Or they'll all be gone! <laughs> all right! All right! Here! We got the last one! You'd better buy it quick then, Caillou.